good morning to all of you welcome to legal matters by sai babu sunkara in this video we are going to discuss a case law on the internet shutdown you may be knowing while uh, <coughs> kashmir is being declared as a state and ladakh as a indian territory internet shutdown was there nowadays internet shutdown has become an order of the day where if the government thinks that information will be leaked out then they can shut down the so called internet of course there is no specific provision in the information technology act except section 69 which says that the government can shut down or can close certain tv channels that's all not uh, the internet internet is when we discuss the net neutrality topic also but here an incident has come to light where once again the internet shut down topic has come once again anir anuradha basin case has surfaced once again so now you can read the case as chaya rani sharma chaya rani sharma she is an advocate versus iran of india and others in repetition civil number 358 by 2023 and the honorable supreme court of india on 16 3 disposed stating that the petitioner has a, uh, got a remedy to go to the high court in this connection why all these things happen let us better know the details of the issue chairan sharma she herself is an advocate she filed a public interest litigation regarding the internet shutdown in uh, some districts of uh, rajasthan state in rajasthan on february 25th and uh, 27th february 25th and 27th uh, examinations were conducted for the post of uh, lower primary and upper primary direct school teachers examination in uh, andhra pradesh we call it as a dsc so teachers selection examinations were conducted and uh, you may be knowing in uh, very recently in a ts psc examination that praveen rajeshekha and reduka all these people they were involved in uh, copying mal practice in the state public service commission exams and as a result of which certain exams were also they were cancelled so likewise so afraid of all these things even in madhya pradesh there is a scam called as vyapam scam vyapam scam where the teachers recruitment has costed the cm likewise in haryana old age teachers scam that bajanlal or somebody he was sent to jail in this case, in this connection very serious issues so therefore as a preventive measure the government of rajasthan they have shut down they have given orders for the shut down of internet on 25th and 27th of february 2023 intention is very good that's why while interpretation of the statutes goes i tell you the interpretation of the legislative intent you have to know here the intention is to strengthen the arrangements for the examination and to ensure complete vigilance to see that the people don't take advantage of uh, the so called mobile apps or so called uh, appliances uh, gadgets like uh, iphone apple watches and other things bluetooth so many equipment people have become so clever particularly the young generation right because previously there was leakage of paper even still i told you that the tspsc exam is very very rare even in gujarat also in one time eight examination papers have been leaked so please remember for rem so <coughs> to remove these difficulties internet shutdown was altered but the result according to chayarani advocate so she claims that it is nothing but a violation of article 19 article 21 also freedom of speech and expression liberty then uh, freedom of doing business trade and also it violates the right to access justice this is important point right to access justice because after corona we are habituated for uh, the so called zoom meeting zoom conference blue jeans conference virtual conference video conference all these things we are addicted so 
for two days if the internet is not there you see the particularly the position of the young generation they become irritated so and definitely it is violating the fundamental rights of the people so please remember even then in this connection i want to tell you very famous case anuradha bhasin versus union of india and others anuradha bhasin yeah <coughs> last year the judgment has come internet shutdown should be reasonable since uh, the uh, chair orani says that it has been violated but still the honorable supreme court of india stated that high court is the competent authority why didn't you approach the high court in article 226 of the constitution of india you can get relief there because it happened all in the rajasthan state why do you come to delhi so this is what they have said anyway the matter is remanded or uh, the petitioner is advised to file a, a writ under article 226 before rajasthan high court let us see what will happen so for the present i am stopping please read the case and enrich your legal knowledge thank you very much